Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be kind of a little review, I guess, and then to show you what I got from the Bite Beauty Lab. If you've never heard of the Bite Beauty Lab, there aren't a lot of them. So just uh, maybe like four or five in the US. Dallas has one, so Dallas is somewhat close to me, about two hours away. But it's um, from Bite Beauty. So Bite Beauty, uh, they really specialize in lipsticks. And they, I guess they're still sold at Sephora. I'm not quite sure. But their original one, original one was in New York. And I really, really wanted to go there. And then I found out that they opened one in Dallas. So I was super, super excited. And I actually went, made an appointment, and went uh, for, kind of for my birthday present. It was a birthday gift to myself, and I went during spring break, stayed a couple days, and um, went to my Bite Beauty Lab appointment. How does it work? I'm going to be putting in either some pictures or short clip videos in here for you to see, but basically you make the appointment, and it can be for just you or you and a friend. They even do parties, so you can do up to a certain amount of people. And one lipstick is $60, so it's not cheap, but the additional one is, I believe, $40. So if you want to get an additional one, you can get it for $40 instead of $60. Basically, what they do is they create a lipstick that is just for you. So you get to pick out the um, different colors and whatever. They will help you. I mean, they're going to mix everything, you know, for so you. I definitely have some pros, um, but there are a couple cons to this as well. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. So this is how it comes. So cute little package there. And it just opens at the side. Here are my two lipsticks super pretty so we have rose gold and then one in like a brushed gold both are really pretty first of all they ask you okay what are you looking for and you tell them what basically what you're looking for and they'll want to know okay do you want a matte a satin a gloss and i feel like they had one more so depending on what type of lipstick you want they have different pigments that go with that type. So like the matte pigments aren't gonna be the same necessarily as the gloss ones. You have to know like what type of lipstick you're wanting. Also, it's really important. So for me, this was a con. I'm just gonna kind of throw in there what if I think it's a pro or con. For me, this was a con, but you have to know going into it, like what you're wanting. So don't go in there thinking that they're going to just make you a color, you know, based on what they think looks good, which is kind of what I wanted. I kind of wanted them, you know, to be able to look at me and say, okay, you will look really good in this color. So that's kind of what I was wanting, but that really didn't happen. So I was like, all right, so let's just do, first I wanted to do a red because I have a really hard time finding a red that looks good on my skin tone. And they have a card, I think I have a, a picture or video to show you, but it's just like a little card, it's like laminated, so they can wipe it off and clean it off. And there are three strips and they're measured. And what they'll do is they'll be like, okay, so you're wanting a red, so let's start with this base. And then, um, you know, would you like to put a little more pink in it or a little more brown in it? And so you just kind of start doing that and you basically go with three colors. I think they can do more. I think for the most part, they just do three. So they'll start out with the base, take a little bit on like a little bitty spatula and then put it on that card all the way across that full length. So they know exactly how much they are putting on there so they can re recreate it very easily. Then they go to the second pigment, do the same thing. They might put half of it on there or just a little piece of it on there, but they'll know exactly how much pigment they put on there. And then they just scoop it up, mix it over on the other side of the card. They just mix it in, mix it all together, mix it all together really, really well so that all the pigment is mixed in really well. And then they just give you a Q-tip and you try it. Go from there, basically. Tell them what I don't really like this, I don't, it's too orangey, or it's too brown, or it's too bright, or whatever, and they can do something to counteract that based on what you said. One other con is, in this location at least, the lighting was not good. 
the room is like a, I think it's pink. You'll, you'll be able to see it when I put the pictures in, but I believe it's pink. So when you have a room that's like a red or a pink with lights, it just, it doesn't do well for you to be able to see exactly what a color is looking like. I was kind of like by the door to go out into the mall. So I found myself turning around to the door so that I could at least get some of that light that was coming in from the mall to be able to, to see it more clearly. That was a little bit frustrating, but definitely not a deal breaker. It's just, it's just a con. A pro definitely is they'll basically keep trying until you find what you want. Uh, on the little, they have like a, a little card that, and they'll put a little swipe of each one that you've tried and they'll write on there exactly what they did, like the measurements of each pigment and what each pigment is. You can be like, you know what? I really did like that second one. Okay. But they can do six and I asked her, I said, how many have you had to do for someone before they found what they wanted? And she said, I think six. And I think I went to eight. So I, w I guess I was a little bit picky, but she was fine with it. I mean, she wasn't upset or anything like that. So it all turned out fine. She was very patient, which was good for me. She had not been there very long. I think for like three months, she said. So again, you know, you go in expecting them to really know exactly what they're doing. And I'm not saying that she didn't. Like she, like I said, she was super nice and super helpful, but she didn't give me a lot of opinions, which, you know, when you're by yourself, which I was, I didn't have anybody with me. You just need an opinion. That was just one thing that um, could have been better. I still really enjoyed it. I uh, finally found my red. And then I was like, okay, I think I want to get another one. And I just want to get like a, a neutral type of color that I can just throw on any day that will kind of go with any makeup that I have on. I just have on like a, a lip liner right now with a little bit of Clarins lip oil or something. I'm not sure what it is. So this isn't going to be what I'm showing you now. But I finally found it. Um, I only went through maybe two or three versions for the second one. A couple things that are really, really cool about doing this is, like I said at the beginning, you get to pick out the tube, okay? So you get to pick out the tube and it's a nice tube and it is magnetic. Let me bring it out, yep, it's magnetic. And you can see that it has Lip Lab, it says Lip Lab there on the side. Also, you pick if you want a scent in it. So if you want an unscented, a citrus scent, I think they had a mint. I wanted vanilla, but they didn't have vanilla. They were out of it. And I think they had some like mango or pineapple or something like that. So I ended up going with unscented because I really wanted vanilla, but I didn't want the other ones that they had. So I went with unscented, no big deal. That's totally fine. Also get to pick the name of your colors. And I really enjoyed that. So what they do is they put them on the top. So here is the bottom and here is the top. So I named one of them Posh. And then they also do symbols. So you can either put a word on it or a symbol. And the other one is Pi. So if you know what pi is, it's 3.14, right? My birthday is March 14th. So I made this one pi. I just thought it was cute. Another really cool thing that they do is they keep your formula, I guess, on hand. So if you ever want to call in, like you run out, and all you have to do is call in and you know tell them who you are, they'll look you up. And I believe if you get another tube of it, it's only $35. So way less than the 60, almost, you know, 50% off. But, um, so it'll be $35 if you ever want them to recreate it for you. So that's really cool. Let me go ahead and show you these colors. This one's the pie symbol one. And believe it or not, these are matte. These, their mats aren't like matte, like super matte. I was trying to go for more of a satin one because I don't love matte lipsticks but the colors weren't jiving. They don't have the exact same colors between one finish and another. So um, we ended up switching to matte so that I could get um, some other colors that I was really needing for my skin tone, if that makes sense. And these are not like matte to me, like I would think of as matte. So let me wipe off 
what I have on my lips now and then I'm going to put it on and show it to you. So you can definitely see, probably as it went on, kind of the shine of it. You can see that I'm rubbing my lips together with no issues. Like this is a very, very soft matte. So if you're scared of a matte, this one's good. Um, I haven't found that it like dries down, like super dry or anything like that. It's a very nice finish. The other one is Posh. And this color is so pretty, it's so vibrant, as you can see. And I think it's gonna be a little brighter on my lips. So let me take off pie and put this one on. So gorgeous color. This isn't one that I would wear every day just because I don't wear a red every day. It's just not something that I do, but I think it's really pretty. I have a, a picture on Instagram that I actually took kind of for this. This wasn't sponsored. They don't know who I am, nothing like that. But um, if you're interested in seeing that, it's a little better of a picture than what you might get here. But I'll put my Instagram right here. Overall, I think this was a great experience. If you're wanting to maybe celebrate something, commemorate something, just do something for yourself and you have the extra money, I would say go for it. So remember the two lipsticks, were $100. There's no fee to to make the appointment, but I'm assuming that they would want you to purchase something. I don't know. They didn't say anything about that. But like I said, if you're wanting to like remember something, maybe your 40th birthday, your 50th birthday, whatever, I think it would be a great thing and a fun thing for you to do. I think it'd be more fun to go with someone. So keep that in mind. Of course, you can do it by yourself like I did. No big deal. Oh, and one more thing. The way they make it at the end they actually make it i mean it's made right there and they pour into the little lipstick thingies that make the lipstick i can't think of the word but anyway um it makes the lipstick and it does take i believe like 30 minutes or something so what i did is i just went next door there was a la line restaurant i went and had lunch and then came right back and they had it ready it's a pretty quick process i mean to make it it takes longer to find your lipstick probably than it does for them to make it. If you have any questions about the process, be sure and leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.